Welcome to day seven of the 60 day challenge. Today we're looking at a pretty tough subject. It was only mentioned in passing really in previous version of the CCNA exam, but now it's uh, mentioned in great detail. IP version six, so you need to understand the benefits. A little bit of the history would uh, also help as well. Addressing format, how the address is actually composed. IP version six address types, auto configuration, how that works with IP version six. The types of where you can compress an IP version six address le legally. Um, you may well be presented with several types of IP version six addressing the exam and asked which one is a legal, legally compressed format. So there's certain rules you need to follow. And then uh, do a lab of some sort, adding IP addresses to a network and then pinging, doing an, an IP version six ping in between hosts on the network. So I'll just quickly review what uh, your book should cover, whichever one you're using. Let's start off uh, up here. So these are the subjects I've mentioned, just to br briefly here. From the CCNA syllabus directly, again, please check to see if it's uh, been updated by Cisco. I mentioned some of the history and I go into hex numbering again, although you should understand that from a previous lesson. How the addresses are actually made up. Uh, link local addresses, a whole bunch of uh, addresses you need to understand, multicast addresses, IP version 6 protocols and mechanisms, again you need to understand a bit about ICMP. I'm probably going into more detail than you need to know for the CCNA but it's um, best to just learn a little bit more just in case. Auto configuration, state, stateful and stateless, it's quite a meaty subject as I said. Subnetting with IP version 6 I mentioned, not sure you'll get asked about that but I've, I've dropped it in there anyway. Comparing IP version 6 and IP version 4 and then you need to do a hands-on lab as I mentioned. So that's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow.